You see, you got to give up. You got to give up. You got to deny yourself in order to take hold of the promises. You understand that? You can cross the. You you know what I say now. It's in your in your in your case. Cross the line, please. Go and cross the line there, please. Sharon, but I've got to give you something before you cross the line. This bread and wine is so important because it represents the sin, the flesh of Jesus who never sinned. And the blood of Jesus, his blood was shed so that your sins might be forgiven. I've got to give it to you. Come and stand this side. You need to be here. Please, in the name of Jesus, take this bread. Something's going to happen in your life. Take this. You can cross the line. Something's going to happen in life that can amaze, amaze a whole family. I know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you. You will see it when it happens. Please come. Thank you. You so desire for a breakthrough. And the things that you want does not come. You've got to such a great desire to, be, to experience a love, the love of God, the love of God. And sometimes you want to love like that, but you don't get that love back. But be ready to sacrifice that love this morning, and you'll see what the Lord do. You desire a real love. And you, you gave everything to get that real love, and you didn't get that real love, true? So now if you sacrifice that desire for love, God's love will come to you. Because you were looking for love at the wrong places. Okay? So today you will deny yourself that privilege to have that love the way you want it. Is that okay? Pray with me, Lord Jesus. Thank you that I can sacrifice today my great desire for love. In Jesus' name for your love come cross the line thank you you always got to give up something to give some to get something greater okay you need to give up popularity and fame to get God's purpose for you Come and stand on the line because fame and popularity is knocking on your door. Knocking and keep on knocking when you know the truth and keep on knocking and keep on knocking. The devil keep on with his nonsense. But if you want to, do not deny that you hold it. God will not hold it against you. But you will not get what he has meant for you. God is not spiteful. He doesn't say, okay, you didn't want to deny yourself. I'm going to keep my promises from you. That's not your God. But if you do not cross that line of self-denial, you will never taste what He actually had in mind for you. If you want it your way, you will have it your way. But you will not have it God's way. You will have it, but not God's way. I say again, if you want it your way, you will have your way. But you will never have it God's way. 
And the people who have it God's way, as people who, sh- who shook the earth, and who made a big difference like the man Abram. We cannot argue today that we know that he was a man, a simple man, who made an enormous difference in the human race and the salvation of the human race. But if he didn't went up that mountain to sacrifice that son, he would have come back and he will not even know what he lost. He will just stay, would have stayed an insignificant, simple man, not even having that impact on the human race. Are you ready to sacrifice fame and popularity come across the line come across the line you never know you can be a history maker and a planet shaker if you deny yourself but you see your flesh is screaming for self-gratification and many, many that ways. If a man wants his revenge, he can have his revenge, but he will never have it God's way. 